Now that our 2D geometry is created, we will use the shapes to extrude the solids we need for the 3D geometry. First, we are going to select a family and part for the 3D geometry. Again, this primarily sets the active level and symbology. It is a good idea to have the 3D geometry a different color than the 2D geometry, as it will make it easier to select the geometry when setting up the named presentation. Let's switch to the solids ribbon on the modeling workflow. Then let's start by using the extrude to solid tool. Toggle on use active attributes and keep the original since the shape is also the 2D representation. If the profile was simply a construction, we would want to leave this unchecked. And of course we want it to be parametric. Now for the distance of the extrusion, we can either input a dimension or use a variable. The first extrusion is the top of the sink, and for that we're just going to use the dimension of 10 millimeters. And we want to make sure we extrude orthogonal. Now select the outer shape and extrude downward. Next, we need to cut an opening in the solid for the bowl. Use the cut tool, set the direction to forward, the cut mode to through, and the profile to show, since this is still our 2D symbology. Now select the solid, then the profile, and left click to accept. You may notice that the cut surface takes on the symbology of the cut profile. You can fix this by using the change element attributes tool and changing the symbology back to that of the solid. Next, extrude the bowl. For this, we will need a variable that defines the bowl depth since that might vary from sink to sink. So we will create another distance variable. I can actually do this on the fly from the pull down by selecting new variable. and extrude the bowl shape. So right now the bowl is a solid, but we will change that. Let's use the shell tool to shell the sink solid outward to actually create the bowl. Set the shell thickness to 10 millimeters. Again, we could make this a variable, but no need to be that detailed when a nominal dimension will work here. Be sure to shell outward. Select the solid, then select the face that needs to be open. This is important. Be sure to select the top face. And then left click to accept. That creates the sink bowl. We now have a sink bowl and the top surface. Let's use the Unite tool to unite the two solids into one. Now let's change the display style so we can see the model. Now the 2D shapes might be hiding something, so we can create a display set of just the 3D elements. And now we can see the 3D model of the sink. Looks good. We can still add a little more detail if needed. For instance, we could add a radius blend on the sink edge. Select the fillet tool, set the radius to 10 millimeters, and select the edge of the sink. Now let's test our variations. Looks like everything is modifying correctly, meaning our constraints and variables are working properly.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.